Hey, it's your girl Latrice Royale, the larger than charged, chunky yet funky, bold and beautiful. And in honor of RuPaul's Reveal season four, today I'm gonna to be giving you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to achieve the gorgeous fabulosity of all this from my workroom entrance. So stay tuned, here we go. Um, I decided on this interest look because I wanted to make sure that my hello to the world really was true to the Latrice Royale brand. Big hair and jewelry and stones and glitter, all of that is all part of my aesthetics. I'm ready for my close up. So what you see right now is I've already um, done my base and powder and I'm ready to now put on and start contouring. The first thing I'm gonna do, I take a dark brown. I stopped using black. It's not very feminine on camera. And I just go right here, right below my shelf so you can see where that cheekbone cuts. And you're gonna just bring that on up. And then you wanna go up above the forehead and get into this man dance, honey, and cut all this out. We wanna erase this and bring this, shave this forehead down. I have five heads, but we're gonna make it four today. And as you see, I have my highlight powder right in here because this is really where you want the focal point to be. You know, you have your T right here. You just all, it's all about this. And then I go underneath, right here underneath this jawline, right here. Now my face is more angular. It's coming down this way and going and pulling up. So your focus is everything is going up. So it's very key that you take your makeup upwards. You don't want to ever look like a sad drag queen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in, but I'm going to go with this dark, it's like a raisin color. And this just adds, you go right into where that where you put the dark brown in. Again, I'm going back up to this forehead, this five head, it's almost getting down there. It's getting down, but you about to go back in here and add in your contour. And as you see now, it's not so brown and it adds a little bit more red tone too and make it look more like skin. Now I'm gonna go in, this is the key, is to contour the nose. It's important that you know which shape works better for you. I go in here right along here, the bridge of your nose on either side. And I'm not using black, I'm using like a light brown raisin color. So once you get that and you get the shape of the nose that you want, I go back in again and just add a little color. So I'm contoured. So as you see, I have the primer on and we're gonna go through right now. And I have this light, it's like um, almost a peachy, shimmery, bronzer, new tone. And I like to use, I prime with Clown White. And I'll tell you why I prime with Clown White. Clown White is the best because whatever you put on it, that pigment is gonna be true. What I'm gonna do is just start layering in the color. I started with like the, the red contouring color that I actually use on my cheeks, actually. Um, I start there and lay that in right in my crease. And that all blends down into my nose, as you see. So I'm gonna go all the way across. And then from there, I'm going to add in a little orange. I love orange. And I go right in over top. That's how you get that sunset. You see how that goes right here? Next is I prime. A lot of people have a lot of different things that they, they like to put their glitter on with. For me, personally, the best thing for me is liquid liner. 
once it dries, it solidifies the glitter and your liquor liner is waterproof and so it won't run off. So you want to do this while it's wet because I use my finger because it's quick and it gets it right on to where I want it to go. And then you just brush off the excess, brush off the excess. Bam, right? So you're halfway there. So then what I like to do is then go in and do my oblique. And my oblique is the liner that goes right across the top of your lid and um, goes to the point into the end of your eyebrow. And you're probably like, oh, she is painting that one right there. And I'm painting right over that there. And I believe in this look, I took it all the way to like a cat eye. So I brought the liner all the way to the back of my forehead. Oh, you got the obliques in there? And see how you got everything pulled up? It's all going with the contour that's been baking. It's all going to come together, I promise you. And then I'm going to go right in here with the black, but I'm only going to go right above. What I'm going to do now is go underneath my eye. I just like to add color down here. So this is just the orange that I had earlier. And then I go in and I go with my liquid liner. So thick black line underneath with a big old 301 underneath there. It's gorgeous. And then what I'm gonna do is just kinda smudge and smoke this out a little bit. But I'm just taking a little eyebrow brush. And then that brown contour powder that I used earlier, I just take it into my brow. Okay, so I'm just going to go back into this eye space with that same brown and kind of blend. But as you see, once I bring the, because I bring the crease all the way over, it does make my eye space look that much more. And I give you that whole cat eye feel. That's the eyes. We are now in the process of applying the stones. This is what I call the crown jewel of drag because even though you have the glitter, it's never too much to add a stone or two or three or four gross to your face. We call it face furniture. And I have a lot of face, so I like to decorate it. So you just wanna go ahead and take something, a small point um, dip, and apply the adhesive to where you want the stone to go. And the first place I like to go is right in here because like I said, I want it to look like the teardrop. Then again, right here, I like to apply on the corner, on the outside corner of my eye. And basically, you do whatever you want. You, it's your design, your face, and you just kind of like strategically put them wherever. And like I said, it's you're decorating. There's various ways that you can apply these stones. Um, it's important to find something that's hyperallergenic for your situation. I use hair bond weaving glue and it's what? Waterproof, bitch. If it can hold on bon quee quee's weave, it can hold on your stones, okay? So this is how you put the stones and apply them in an artistic, fashionable manner. And I hope you love it. Hair time. It is important that you have a lovely piece of hair, honey. You cannot have no $30 shake and go. This particular piece of hair you see here has been custom done for me. But the key, because I travel so much, is that you have to store her properly um, so that she doesn't get smushed and mushed around. So I like to keep her um, in a bag. I, I put a, like a plastic, any plastic bag um, over her and fold her nicely into herself. And then that way she stores and she's protected because you don't want to get to the gig and pull out 
a ratty mess because you don't have time for all that. That goes. I don't got my braids in today, y'all. So y'all getting a real treat. And there she is. Isn't that easy? But now, you know, she comes out. She's cute. But you got to style her. You can't just leave her as is. I don't like to use a lot of hairspray simply because obviously that like takes away life for your piece. Just a light, light. Like I said, I like a simple earring, honey. Just something small for the daytime. This is my, I'm gonna go pick up some lunch and meat at the grocery store earring. And you know what? I need some lip gloss too. Sorry about it, just gonna pleat it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're living. Go out there, have a good time. And for more of my looks, make sure you tune in every Friday night for RuPaul's Revealed season four. And if you think this is hard, good God, get a grip, girl. Eat it! Wah! Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.